what is going on everybody so today i'm at a customer's house and i wanted to share this video with you because there's a ton of people out there that have a lot of issues with brown algaes whether that be diatoms whether that be dinoflagellates whatever and it usually appears when you just started the tank probably between that zero to four month period so today i have a customer where we recently set up his tank and for the first month or two there was just brown algae everywhere i took some video on the fly forgive uh the video quality but you know i was working <laughs> Uh, but I'm gonna show that to you right now. All right, so this is how the tank looked, and you can already tell like the brown algae is just everywhere, and even the rocks are, are pretty white, so you can definitely see that they're not cured yet. But there's uh, even brown, uh, you know, brown algae in the sand. There's even um, oh, there's even green slime algae back here in the corner. It's just every kind of square inch of this tank is taken up by some type of. Uh, nuisance algae and um even on this uh coral you can see there's some brown algae as well and just if you look all down there there's tons of it here's the opposite side of the aquarium and again some more nuisance algae over here as well there is not one area in this aquarium that isn't having an issue and it's just tons and tons of brown and oh look up here you can see that there's bubbles kind of forming in that algae and it's kind of becoming that green slimy or that brown slimy algae that flows to the top here's the front of the tank and again you can get a better idea of just how uh how much brown algae is appearing in this aquarium now this is a pretty bad uh you know outbreak uh, but this has to do with the fact that you know, he, he wanted the dry rock, but uh, then you put those lights on. You didn't get that dry rock time to really cure and get the right bacteria growing on them. So it's very important. Uh, I, I'm a big proponent of dry rock. I like it a lot just because you know what you're putting in your tank, which is nothing. But if you're going to do that, you have to have your lights off for a significant amount of time to let that rock be, uh, let that bacteria colonize that rock and prevent a huge outbreak of brown algae like this. All right, so we can get an idea of the uh, how bad the brown algae was, right? But because we do this a lot and we were expecting that, and because we knew the tank was still maturing, we expected the brown stage to happen. Everybody calls this period the ugly stage, right? So we tested the water, nitrates were zero, phosphates were barely reading. So we knew we had to get those levels up. Now, usually during this period, I like the customers to keep the light off for as long as possible. Preferably if you could keep your lights off uh, for two months at the beginning of the tank's life, that's perfect for me. But uh, they had the fish in there and they wanted to enjoy the fish. So I understand they had the lights on. So we had a bit of a bloom of brown algae. So how we fixed it was we started dosing nitrate directly to the tank and we got those nitrate levels up probably between two and four. As we started getting those nitrate levels up, we started to notice that the brown algae started to recede and start to die back. Along with the customer uh, getting more fish into the system and uh, feeding more heavily, we've pretty much seen the brown algae disappear. So let's go ahead right now and let's go inside and see what the tank looks like now. All right, so here we are back at the customer's tank and we have no brown algae here in the aquarium anymore that is gone it is replaced by now if we can see right here some green hair algae so now we're in the second stage of the cycle and we now have the appearance of green hair algae that is now taken over where the brown algae was feeding has gotten a lot feeding has increased Nitrates have increased, phosphates have increased, giving way to green hair algae appearing on the rocks. Now, it's not too bad. You got a little bit here and there. These rocks are, uh, are a little difficult because they're so, many, they're so porous and there's so many little nooks and crannies for things to get into. The hair algae is hard to kind of get it off because it really gets deep down in there, but... Um, for the most part though, the rock is pretty clean. You got a little area right here, some algae. But the corals look amazing. Look at those red mushrooms. And then we got some pallies right there. The zoas look great. Yeah, so the corals look are doing fantastic. Anemones, everything. 
So now we're in that transition period. So, you know, usually between zero to three months, four months, you're dealing with the brown algae, the ugly stage, and then you kind of transition over that four to like, I'd say eight month period of really switching over to the green algaes and dealing with that. This tank is now at the green hair algae phase. And I'm honestly, uh, I can deal with the green hair algae. We're gonna do a big water change today. We're gonna get some GFO in this tank. We're gonna monitor the nutrient level that's going on in this tank. How pretty those rock flower anemones are. Oh my God, those look amazing. Uh, we're monitoring the nutrient level in this tank and uh, worst case scenario, if, it, if this hair algae uh, starts to really take off, we'll go ahead and do a treatment for that. But I think that it's just right here. It's in a couple little spots. For the most part, it's com this tank is completely clean. But right now we want to be careful because we don't want that green hair algae to get uh, out of control by no means. So we're going to be stay vig we're going to stay vigilant. We're here once every two weeks. We're going to keep in contact with the customer who's previously on vacation right now. And he's going to communicate with us and let us know how the algae is doing. The other thing I want to point out is if you look at the glass, there's hardly any brown algae on the glass. That's because we've increased those nutrients and that brown algae loves low nutrients. It loves low nitrate. It thrives in that environment, in that water chemistry and all on the side of this glass. Like I barely even had to touch this glass uh, and clean it because it's just been doing such a great job of uh, the sides of it have just been really crystal clear. So let's get this water chain started. We'll take it down, we're going to take it down about halfway and really try to take out some of those phosphates that are in this tank. Also, I'm going to add some um, phosphate remover in here as well. So we took it about, uh, so we took it down about 50% and we're going to pump in right now. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way this tank is coming along. It's uh we're adding a nice variety of fish in here and it's looking beautiful and I really can't wait to see, uh, I really can't wait to put more coral in here also. Now, because we're uh, here every two weeks, you know, things can happen very fast, especially with the new tank or an immature system. There's a balance there and we've tilted the scale now to a little bit higher, higher nutrients and now the phosphate, until those rocks get cured with the beneficial bacteria that we want and some of the coralline algae, there's real estate open for things like hair algae to thrive. So now we're dealing with the hair algae, which is to be expected, it's completely normal. And now we're gonna address that with a big water change uh, and, and adding some phosphate remover to the tank and just prepping ourselves. This hair algae that is in the tank doesn't get out of control and we're gonna nip it in the butt as soon as we can. This is all to be expected. So I just wanna uh, end this by saying, number one, if you're dealing with brown algae, if your tank is still new, it's still immature, don't panic. It's part of the process right when you see it let's nip it in the butt let's let's try to get those nitrates up most likely if you get those nitrates up you'll be good maybe dial your light back or turn your light off completely if you don't have corals in the system second we know we're going to transition to the to the green hair algae stage eventually we're going to start getting green on the rock prep for that have your gfo remover ready and schedule some heavier water changes as you see those brown to, to die and as you see the first appearance of green hair algae if you're struggling with brown algae check your nitrates number one see if your nitrates are low and if they are low if they're not registering i would suggest dosing nitrate some type of nitrate directly to the tank i i'm not a big fan of uh feeding more just because i think that that's how you get phosphate and that's how you're going to get a hair algae bloom so if you can if your nitrates are very low dose nitrate it's the best way to go about doing uh increasing your nitrates without getting any side effects now I'll be doing some other videos on if your tank is more mature and you're dealing with brown algae. I'll do another video of that uh, separately, but this is for tanks that are still immature that have just been set up between that zero to five month period. But for now, I got to wrap things up here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.